Hey everyone, Tom here today. Uh, today I thought I would do a video on the Rogue My Security. Uh, whoops. Uh, yeah, today I'm doing a, 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 a video on the Rogue My Security Shield, and I've actually got an activation code for it. Now, the way I got this activation code is because a poor chap that contacted. Uh, contacted me, got this on his computer, and he bought it. Never buy my security shield if you ever have it, by the way. Um, so I just thought I wanted to show you that it's activated and everything that we can do because it's interesting, and also reasons why it's a rogue and how to tell that other rogues are rogues, basically. So. I'm just going to go ahead and activate it, I'll be right back in a second. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, I've just activated my security shield. And as you can see, it says updates installed successfully. So that means that we're good and it's been activated. So let's go full screen and take a look. So we can activate our firewall. There we go, that's activated. We can activate automatic updates. We can activate antivirus protection. We can enable anti phishing protection, advanced process control, enable, enable, we can do that. We're going to run a scan to see what, and I quote, viruses we have. And it starts finding stuff. It will actually only find stuff first by the way uh, the first time that you want to scan with it after being activated because they don't exist really <coughs> because um, it's just trying to make you buy software like the person who came to me did <coughs> yeah so here it is it's doing the scan really fast because it's not really scanning anything at all it's actually scanning real directories though which is quite a surprise it's not too bad a design rogue really, it's it's quite good for a rogue. Uh not not if you want antivirus protection because it doesn't do any of that. It's, yeah. <clears throat> so here's what it finds. Uh as you can see uh there right there it's not real. <laughs> Trojan dash PSW dot bat dot hunter. Wow, okay can't actually change what it gives us the default action. Gives it a rating for each one. I'm going to click remove all. And it removes all the fake infections. It makes it happy. And the red little shield down there goes to, uh, to green finally. So we've got no potentially in, potentially infection uh, inf infected items found. Sorry, I'm a bit tongue tied today. Go to settings. As you can, uh, we can now change our settings. Configure my security shield, even though it doesn't do a thing. Uh, history. We can see everything that it's removed from the past. Um, yeah, so it's it's a bit like Windows Protection Suite except it's a bit different because we've got this little thing at the side here. Anti-phishing, we can disable it, we can enable it. Like that. Advanced process control, we can Look at that. We can uh, configure our, our uh, auto run. Uh, you know, disable it and all that good stuff. Service manager. We can uh, configure our services. Uh, run that one. Stop it. Uh, go to malware in the eliminator. Uh, you click on a window and it apparently deletes the file. 
actually works and in quarantine it actually says it's infected even though you were the one to say oh this is a bad file got the all-in-one suite here at the still um, I wish that real antiviruses would actually have this function because um, it's easy to find everything here like Windows Firewall uh, <coughs> Magnifier yeah because it actually lists them out all together and uh, I can't believe that uh, it makes itself look uh, it makes itself look like the actual Windows Security Center because uh, if I actually just use the rogue itself and go to Security Center and then we go to Home on the road has the same little buttons uh, actually has a firewall windows actually detects it and antivirus protection detects it yeah so this is it activated uh, by the way if it tries to mimic uh, real windows stuff in any way like the shield there uh, windows defender there because it wouldn't say that it would say no harmful software detected, but you know it's mimicking it with a shield and everything. Uh, it makes itself look like uh, try to try to make itself look like the Explorer down here, yeah. And the buttons, of course. Um, how to remove this? Just. Just go into safe mode, download a copy of malware bytes, uh, run a, a full scan with the latest updates, and you should be okay, really. And again, don't buy it. If you have bought it, contact your uh, bank as soon as you can, because it, uh, it's a rogue. And I'm just hoping that I've put out this video and the other video I made on it very, very uh, as quick as possible to show you that um, that you should not buy this um, to get it off your computer as soon as you can. I've also turned off the network card uh, because I wanted to see if it could still do the update, which it, it said that it couldn't. So it's very well designed, very well designed indeed. So thanks for watching this video. Um, uh, thank you to Mr. Jonos for providing the activation code. If anyone needs help removing this, uh, you know, advice or whatever, um, I'd be happy to answer your question. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for listening. And um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Bye for now.